Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some more Dual Universe. You guys are gonna like this. So I did not know shields were a thing. You have to remember, when I played, it was like the first maybe two, three weeks of beta, and that was it. I was done. Um, I, I liked the game, but in my opinion, in my heart at the time, I had a feeling that the game was gonna get wiped because there was a lot of economy issues that happened, and the devs said it's potential, but it, it seemed like they were gonna do everything they could to not wipe. But I had a feeling one day it would wipe when it released from beta. Um, and they did, obviously. So, um, yeah, I didn't even really check out the game much. I was just ignoring it for a while. But this is shielding. There is actual shielding in the game, which I had no clue. Now, this wiki might be outdated, but, like, um, for example, uh, the hit pool for a dynamic, uh, for an XS shield. Uh, so this must be, like, the advanced shield generator XS, for example. 450 hit points and they have different regens and different numbers but let's let's look at the best one in the game or maybe the best one so this is a uh, space core uh this is the base shield generator xl and this one has 500 million health uh, not what they have but what i'm looking at the wiki so that is insane i think that is really freaking cool so i've been making some cash if we hit the o key we can open up our wallet here we got 5 million um, so we've been doing pretty good. You can see I'm, you know, selling things here, um, buying things, selling them. I buy some stuff cheaper. Sometimes I sell it for more, like even for the iron, for example. It doesn't always work, especially when the numbers get closer and closer. So keep that in mind, like just because it might work, it might not work. So like, for example, the iron here, I was doing a buy order of, I, I did, I'm not doing it anymore, but originally I was doing a buy order uh, a little more and then selling them. But you can see here, that we have competition here so this is a good time to like maybe say okay you know what update this so we're gonna do 26.99 but the prices are slowly you know going down now that is for now obviously as time goes on it could actually go back up and jump when corporations are willing to dump a lot more assets onto the market or have that amount of money to do that but to be fair a lot of corporations are gonna just go ahead and go crazy right and just go ahead and mine it themselves so it's kind of a win-lose situation, but I'm happy. I've been enjoying my mining. Now, one thing we found with my ship that sucked a lot, let's go to it here, is this ship that we bought does not come with the um, this guy, which is on the cheaper version. It doesn't come with the controller thing here. This is the, uh, here, we'll just click it on here, inspect item. It doesn't come with the container hub. So I actually bought this ship, and I didn't even assemble it. Um, because this one has, uh, I took the container hub out, but instead of trying to sell it, not that it's probably going to sell, but I just thought, why not, uh, for the prices are cheap. I put all the items on the market. I accidentally sold the containers for a lot less, but whatever. I sold them for like 50 K each, but I thought, well, let's just, let's just have fun and attempt to at least throw it on the market because for 550 K, I could probably make money off of that. Um, as time goes on, it's going to get less and less and, you know, I probably will make, or I will definitely break uh, past even, but I won't probably make a lot of money. And it's a pain to juggle that. Like when we're dealing with the market, for example, and dealing with all those parts, it's actually not easy to juggle with such so many parts. But one thing I learned is the filter system up here, which makes stuff a lot easier. So here's my materials. I can ignore everything else. Here's just elements. So look at all the parts here. And I had to go in and price each one. Um, now, you probably realize that like when you right click over here and you're selling stuff on the market, you remember it doesn't show you like a view market button. Like, you know how this one, I could view market page and it's amazing and everything. That doesn't exist with the other thing. So what I ended up doing was I listed them for, I think I listed everything for 50K each and that's where I screwed myself um, because the cargo containers, I didn't get to them, but somebody bought them and they were worth obviously a bit more. But there's a container hub and people have been fighting me price, you know, oh, I think I might've just sold it. Did I just sell it? No. No, it just derped up. Sometimes it derps up like you lose and then it comes back. Um, but it is the price the best here, not everywhere. But the other place was slightly like 10K less. So like, you know, somebody probably isn't going to go from one place to the other, even though they have the teleporters for a 10K cheaper, you know, price. But anyways, I'll probably sell it and get back my money worth anyways. It's just, yeah, it's interesting that you can do that. So um anyways we're gonna buy ourselves a new ship so yes today is gonna not be exciting we're gonna be doing that again 
Um, so if you, you weren't excited by that last time, go ahead and skip this episode just because that's just something I'm excited about, something I would like to do. I think this is the ship that might have shields on it. I wonder if it actually says the word shielding on it. Oh, yeah, shield generator. So that's what those guys had, uh, that ship that they were flying around. So that ship is obviously like a combat ship. But the ship I was thinking of buying here is this one. Now, don't forget there's even a bigger ship here. This one is for space as well, I believe. So, um, yeah, so this is 15 million, a little more money than we have here. It's a hybrid. The one I'm going to buy isn't actually for space worthiness, but it's an okay price. I think this was three something, I think. Yeah, 3,500. It's an atmospheric hauler, but it has 147 kilotons uh, or kiloliters. Uh, versus R16, I believe it was. So let's let's do the math here. 147 divided by 16. So it's almost, it's literally 9.1875 times. So like literally, it's over nine times the cargo capacity. And the beautiful part about this is obviously it looks like it could have more room on here. Or at least you've got space to move around if you want. And if we go in here, it's actually a really cool ship here. It's even got different like built-in waypoint systems in here. I don't know if these can auto fly or not because I've seen, I think there is a possibility that some ships can fly, but for me, it's more about the the fact that this has uh, um, a nice cockpit and stuff. I don't know about the guidance stuff there. It might just be purely guidance or whatever, but we'll, we'll look into that over time because um, if it flew for you, that would be ridiculous, but I would imagine it would tell you that. Um, but it's got lots of space. Oh, and the big feature of this one is, uh, I already saw it, so let's not be an idiot here. There's a hub. I swear there was a hub. Was there not a hub? Well, if there's not a hub, there is a big ass... Is this a door that we can go through, by the way? I don't know. I swear I saw the hub here before. Oh, here it is. I mean, it's down here. There you go. So there's the, the cargo hub, which is good because if I were to upgrade this over time, put more containers in it, because I, I guess you could fit more containers right here, to be fair. This is a large container, I'm guessing, right? So, yeah, that's where most of your space is. And don't forget, it, it, our, our buff will get applied to that, too, which will be awesome. So, yeah, it's one big, large container here. But that means I can last a lot longer out there mining, obviously. Um... I think my biggest issue and waste of time is literally multiple containers, not a lot of space. Now I can spend like a few hours out there mining, come back and just vendor it. That's what I've been doing pretty much now um, because the price has been pretty close together. It's not worth listing them, but uh, no. So let's do this. So yeah, this is going to be exciting. So here we go. Yep. Oh, let's see what it is like in our inventory, by the way, once it goes through here. Woo, there you go. I'm so happy they have an overflow system here like to let you do this because it would really, really, really suck if you couldn't buy like them like this. And I hope they do it like, I don't know if they're, it's in or not, but I hope players can also sell like ships and stuff like this. Um, not just the blueprints because that's annoying. I mean, I don't want to sit there for several hours on the market trying to buy one piece at a time. But I love the idea of buying, you know, something like that. Now, they can sell you pre-made ships and sell you the keys, I guess, too, right? So, eventually, you'll find reputable people that'll, you know, do that for you. So, um, the only downside is later on, we'll have to pick up one of the ships here because, you know, obviously, it's here. By the way, oh, do you want to see my ship? This is it here. <laughs> so, remember I told you I bought that one ship? <laughs> Joke, LOL, sorry. Because when you spawn it, you can actually remove all the elements. I'll actually show you with this ship here. So this is the kind of the cool thing about this. So, oh, what was the ship even called? Crap. Be embarrassing to use the wrong blueprint. No, this is that, uh, that the small one, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I can't even tell, to be fair. I don't know now. I don't, I don't want to accidentally use the wrong blueprint like a freaking idiot I kept it too because you know obviously okay let me go double check to make sure we're doing something right here okay it is the iron whatever okay I didn't see the other blueprint in there whatever it probably is there but all the parts are here I wanted to show you what you can do so you either can go to a market and list it all and then spawn your ship and it'll still spawn or uh, when you do this part of it 
you can actually uncheck the elements as well but it tells you what you have here like we have everything we're good here so we're, we're gonna deploy i keep the regular names because i just need to remember what it's called but yeah when you spawn it it has zero elements and then the elements get spawned so there you go achievement duo flyer i don't know what that means but green fingers so we got a bunch of new achievements for that. So let's see, build a construct with at least one decorative plant. Okay, and build a dynamic construct with one extra seat that has enough altitude uh, lift to fly. Okay, so there you have it. I don't even know what that does. Caution here, huh? Oh, this is our front? Oh, I'm an idiot. I was like, is this somewhere else? I thought there was like a back door there for a second. So this is just all your thrusters and everything back here? Yeah, I guess so. I guess, did it give us fuel, by the way? Yes, it did. Wait, is it really that much fuel? Oh, yeah, never mind. It's not that much. First, I thought it was like a million and something fuel. I was like, uh, what? Okay, so we got to find... This is the fun part about this. It's like, hey, we got to find our fuel tank. Thanks for showing me their fuel tank. Now, hopefully... Oh, there they are. They're inside. Okay, that's cool. So we just go in here, and there's two of them, so there you go. Now, we've learned anything, we want to even these out. Okay, we'll almost even them out, there you go. And, yeah, so I don't know all the panel here. Yeah, so there's the Ark Ship, Beach Club. I Like, I still don't know how this works. I don't, I'm almost worried to click it. Oh, it just tells you the waypoints. Okay. Oh. I see. So market six, which is yet. Yeah. Which is right here. Is that, I guess it's still there, I guess. Okay. So, yeah, I guess you can do this, and you can bind the current waypoint. So, I think that's all it is. It's like a simple, you just hit it, and it gets you your waypoint. So, no no automation. You don't have to worry about it flying on you. I mean, that'd be cool. I don't know if we have the technology in this game for it. And even if you did, it'd be a lot further away, I'm sure, than now. But, um, anyways, let's get into our pilot seat here. Oh, gosh. Oh, there it is. I was, like, a little worried there. I'm like, where do I go? Okay. Look at how much lift this thing. He just like literally just took off just going up in the <laughs> air. Okay, so we're going to go northeast. This is going to be the same. Oh, crap. So what happens if you down this right here? Does it go down lightly or is it going to go down hard? Because if it goes up that high, you know, uh, we're going to do pilot. Oh, sorry. Advanced controls, direct control mouse. I'm not touching anything. Yeah, this thing goes really high. Awesome. It even has the periscope stuff, so that's cool. The radar and everything. Okay, so we're gonna go... We're not gonna go this way. We're gonna go north... Northeast, I guess. Yeah, something like that. There you go. Now, I think the fastest you can always go, only go is 1050 anyway, so just keep that in mind, but... This thing should just fly like crazy. Yeah, so there you go. So this is probably faster than our... Oh, I hit Control w because there's another game I was playing. Oh, Empyrean, I think. If you hold Control w and let go, you uh, it, it does like the auto run. Oh my goodness, it goes faster than that? I hope you can't burn up in the... Oh, crap. I don't know if we injured our ship or not. I... Did not know he could go faster than that. I kind of want to check this out now, just in case. No, I don't know what happened there. We're doing fine, though. can't believe we're going this fast so I had no clue we could do this within the honestly I thought it was like 1000 was pretty much your max speed so okay 
I think that's more of a graphics feature. It's like, you know, you are kind of going fast and it heats up, but not enough, I think. It doesn't look like enough to actually damage it, so. But that's actually really freaking cool. So we're already 25 plus kilometers away, so. Cool. There you go. And we're doing good. So, and then I found the best places, to be fair, are the beach areas like this. So, um, this is this is where I go for. Now, I would go on the beach itself, not on the, you know, water. But, yeah, I found it to be the best. I wonder if I can go backwards on this thing. Oh, yeah, okay, we're doing good. There you go. And there's some rocks right there. We're not going to do the whole mining thing together again this time around. I'm just going to do it, do a big long cut and come back. Um, but let's do link container here. So link is container. So now if we go here, obviously, uh, we have enough inventory here. 176,000 kiloliters. So yeah, we're not going to have to worry for a long time uh, about filling that up. And then basically I can now spend hours just going crazy wait somebody actually owns this land you mean i went all the way here and i ended up on somebody's property go figure it's all right we'll just go off their property but i can't believe after all that i ended up on there but it doesn't matter because you got the water here right the ocean here so the idea is you just go out here and boom as long as you're within one kilometer anyways now i wonder how far away we are from making that like, I like that feature. I just don't know if it's worth trying to get another one because I love the distance. Um, I don't even know where it was under, to be fair. Inventory manager, there you go. Did you get your container. So that's that's something nice. I should definitely put that in there. Yeah, we're on the long stuff now too, right? But this is good. This is stuff we want. So we can, you know, get proficiency on that. Cute all required, huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. Um, I don't know what the f distance one was. Primary container. Oh, here it is. Yeah, here you go. I do want to get that up and running more too. And then you can get even more there. I might, you know, obviously add some other stuff there, but being able to be far away is just such a nice feature. So, um, anyways, yeah, we can do one kilometer, so we're we're fine for now. So I'm gonna just mine like crazy, and uh, we'll come back in the future. Okay, so we made it to the moon. So this is our um, our org space here, mostly manufacturing right now, which is awesome. And, uh, yeah, so Hotfoot thankfully saved the day. He picked me up on Alioth, and, uh, yeah, so basically we're just going to summon our ship here. Hopefully I have fuel and stuff in there. It's not a big deal because we do have a market nearby. I guess I can do that, so um, that should work. Oh, yeah, there it is. Now, I wonder if this will move faster just because of the low gravity and everything else, right? I don't know how all that works, but... Watch this not even fly. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think this actually works here. <laughs> um, I didn't realize that, but I don't think this actually works here, which is funny as heck. Uh, this is going to be the best. Yeah, so if you fly this, I don't think it works here. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, that's fine. We might have to go for a bit of a run, but... We move faster anyways because of where we are, so yeah. Because there's no atmosphere. See, it says 0%, so there's no atmosphere uh, anything here. So, uh, whoopsies. Control B, was it? No. How do we do this again? Construct uh, Alt B. There you go. Okay. So we have to run. you like this. So we have to run all the way over here. So look at that. Eight. Okay, it'll take a while. I thought we could go a little faster, but no, it'll take a bit. So we could do 50. Yeah, so basically it's going to take us like 40 minutes to get there. But I'm going to start now, and then we'll come back. 
Okay, so I screwed up big time. So, um, I went based on the bookmark where I died, right? And what a really bad idea. So, set destination here, right? And uh, if we go to it, it was literally right here. Well, I looked around, relogged, it wasn't there. So, I decided to go based on constructs, which I'm pretty sure this is the construct here, right? And so, when I go ahead and set destination, well, oddly enough, it's right over here, uh, right here, which is, this is the market right here, which I'm pretty sure this is the people, this is our, yeah, I think this is our base here. So how the hell did that, you know what I mean? That was uh, some major oopsies on there. So I think that's us, unless that's a different market. How many markets are on this planet? I think it's just the one. Yeah, so I screwed up really big there. It's not a big deal. I did learn that you could do... Oh, apparently not in map view. Control Z will let you sprint and run. So I can go one direction for like a million hours. And that's cool. I was actually like holding all the keys. And, uh, you know, that was annoying. But, uh, yeah, at least I learned that. And now we're just going to head there. So it's going to take me another, you know, obviously, you know, 54 kilometers an hour. Almost 30 kilometers. It's going to take me a bit, but we'll get there. Okay, well, after wasting a lot of time <laughs> coming, you know, going to the wrong place, going here, etc. We found it. So we're going to do the fetch again, right? So I almost forgot. Somebody remind me of that. Uh, so we're going to right click and fetch. And oh, yeah, we have to look at. Yes, that's right. We want to do like this up in the air. There you go. Fetch. Yes. And there you go. There it is. Oh my goodness. Oh, that thing is not slightly broken. <laughs> it's very broken. Uh, uh, that's beautiful. I want to take a picture of that control F9. And then uh, F12. Yeah, there you go. Post that on Steam later. Yeah, I'd call that a rough landing. Thankfully, we had some iron scrap. We need to get enough to get it up and running. So we'll just fix all the elements till they're yellow and then go from there. I might have to make some more, so. But hopefully we have fuel in this thing. But the good news is our base is nearby, uh, the, the group space. So I have to still set up my own base here. I don't know if we have any uh, STUs around that I can buy or get from somebody, but... Go. This is working out pretty good. I think I'm not doing the. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I'm clicking on the right thing here. There you go. Now, if you had better scrap, by the way, repairing is like, you know, you get more out of it density wise, and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's ridiculous, so. That's the beauty of uh, having good scrap later on, but right now we're just using tier one scrap. Later on, we'll get tier two, three, four, whatever. I don't know if it goes to four, but I guess it, you know, we can look. Let's find out, shall we, Jay? Scrap. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. So there's basic scrap. There's seven scrap layer, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So there's, or not seven, six, five, one. Okay. So basic. Uncommon, I guess. Advanced, rare, and exotic, I'm guessing, in that order. <laughs> they probably should put them not, you know, alphabetically, but the order that, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal, but kind of funny. Okay. Okay. Come on. 
So yeah, all these. Now if I crash this again, I only have one more repair on a lot of this stuff. So the sh shipper is gonna become very disposable if I'm not careful. It's all right. It was a cheap ship, and we've learned we can easily afford multiples of these at this point from my our mining. I did get up to. I had a pickup from where I was mining, so I'm gonna actually go back to the planet. We'll have a video of actually going back. Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, more like the fact of surviving. But I might be here for a couple episodes. But it's good we didn't spend the whole episode. But like, I didn't want it to be about mining. I was gonna, you know, like fill up our new ship and then maybe haul like a full thing. But that would take a few hours probably but i mean obviously that never got to that point which that's fine to me um, but that was mostly what i was going to do it, it is an mmo and it takes time to get stuff done if you know what i mean so like you can't just expect things to be like boom done you know that's the only downside making content you have to realize that it's not easy to make you know content for a game like this in this style of play this is why most people who you probably notice not a lot of let's plays out there and that's actually the fat reason why like a lot of people make guides and stuff but it's not easy to make let's plays out of games like this but it's just my style so i do the best i can and hopefully you guys enjoy it okay so it looks like we got most things here i'm just seeing what i can see and then we'll lift it up as well I don't know if you lose your fuel, because if we lost the fuel, that'll just blow. And you have to remember, you can't use atmosphere, so I actually try to put my uh, vehicle down and, you know, use it, but then I'm like, wait a minute, you can't do that. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, look at all the damage down here. I'm interested in how that's going to be in those containers. so happy the guy had 100 couple hundred scrap on him i can make my own scrap on the surface anyways nano crafting in fact it probably would have had it and more to be honest in that time uh, maybe originally it would have sounded like oh crap but i guess it wouldn't have been a problem just for the fact that you know okay there we go Okay. This thing is going to be ridiculous to try to fly, I think. But I don't even know how to get in. Uh, this is awesome. Okay. And I don't know if it has to warm up or if it'll just run. Oh, okay, they have their own little thing here. So that's good. Um, so moon base, I guess, will show up on our bookmarks here. Right? So that's the good news. Okay, yeah, so... Okay, you know, it works right away. Okay. Idea is you don't want to come to the planet slamming, but we're going this way, so sure, fine. We're in space in a sense, really, because, you know, there's no grav, uh, there's no uh, atmosphere holding us down, right? So. There you go. We just have to. Which also means that, you know, you're going to have to find your way down here. Because we can break wherever we are, right? So. This thing is a mess. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, I just uh, pollute my, my, my stuff here on them. It's just like, yeah. And we made it. There you go. So there is our... <laughs> oh, it is so badly damaged. <laughs> I love it. 
Uh, that's beautiful. Okay. So this is our uh, our base here. This is the factory. Uh, we already talked about this. We got some scripts going. So Shadow's doing something over here, obviously. And then um, if you check over here, you got more factories floating. Things are a little messy, obviously, early game, right? And then over here, you can see that uh, they got industrial hub here running. So this is really cool. It shows different information here. Um, just what's running and you know, I, I like that. It's a really cool thing. They got this really cool map here, too So I think we can use this you just touch it. Oh, yeah, it's a 3d map by the way So isn't that cool and then you just go like this probably to recenter it yet yeah. and you can say show distances and things like that on here, so very very cool little thing obviously show pipes I guess some of these don't show. Oh, there you go. Safe zone. There you go. So if we go like this, it'll probably give you a better idea of the 3Dness, right? So I don't think this map is updated, to be fair. But anyways, very, very cool uh, little 3D uh, map. Anyways, shows you the power of the LUA stuff here. We saw it in another ship. You remember when we were exploring before? We saw something that was really cool. So yeah, either way, it's, it's a lot of fun. Look at this guy's ship. That's cool. But, uh, yeah, I will. That's it for this episode. We might claim a piece of territory here. I won't make a video on that. We'll probably make a video on it once I actually get, you know, something you know, ready to build on it. But probably not a video of actually claiming it, to be, uh, to be fair. But uh, either way, my friends. Oh, yeah, this is the ship that I came on here. So this is uh, uh, Hotfoot's ship here. So this is the one I came on here. He put a seat there. It came off our ship. That seat's off our actual ship here, so. Yeah, this is the one he gave us a ride on. He's doing something down here, but some secret operation. But uh, either way, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I'm happy we finally made it to the moon. Uh, we haven't personally landed it safely on the moon, but I think you saw there uh, what we have to do. It was literally break. So we're on the other planets you would glide in kind of thing, which I did like an idiot here. There is no atmosphere. There is no gliding. There is You just put the brakes on because the Gs are low, 0 0.2 Gs. So all you do is just boom, break it, and you're done. So, uh, But either way, we live, we learn. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. We'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.